Hi, my name is Julian. I'm a Googler based in Brussels, and I've been working for many years with some of the largest organizations in Europe to help them deploy sensitive data sets and workloads on Google Cloud. In this video, I will show you how you can use Assured Workloads to implement supplementary data protection measures that can help meet the requirements of the European Data Protection Authorities. As Europeans, we know how important this is to perform a risk assessment surrounding your use of cloud services and to implement appropriate risk mitigation based on your findings. This is why Google Cloud has made it easy to implement controls using Assured Workloads. In the next few minutes, we'll walk through step-by-step step how to set up a new AU Assured Workloads folder in the Google Cloud Console so that you can enforce data residency, implement personnel access controls, and manage your organization encryption keys. Are you ready? Let's get started. As we discussed in the first video, Assured Workloads is a tool that helps you implement and enforce specific controls so you can confidently run sensitive workloads on Google Clouds. All organizations need to do is to select the regulatory framework they need to comply with, in our case, the AU, and Google Cloud will automatically deploy the necessary controls to help meet the relevant requirements. Organizations in the AU want to store and process data locally to help prevent unauthorized data transfers. They also need protection from unauthorized data access, including third-party data requests covered under legislation like the US Cloud Act. Assured Workloads for AU can support these requirements, allowing customers to create and maintain workloads with data residency at rest and in use in AU Google Cloud regions, personnel access and customer support limited to AU persons located in the AU, and cryptographic control over data access, including external key management, key access justification, and signed access approval. Let's start with a European Union data residency. Customers can specify any of the Google Cloud regions in the EU where their data will be stored and ensure that it will remain there. Assured Workloads implements a Google Cloud Platform organization policy that restricts customer data to being stored in a specific region. Customers can choose from 10 current cloud regions in Europe. London, Belgium, Netherlands, Zurich, Frankfurt, Finland, Warsaw, Milan, Madrid, Paris, and more to come. Second, there is personal data access control. These ensure that only AU personnel in an AU location are allowed to provide support to a customer. This control also restricts access to customer data to individuals who meet this requirement during the resolution of a customer-initiated support case. Third, there is cryptographic control over data access. With key access justification, cloud external key manager, and signed access approval. Key access justification gives customers the ability to deny Google administrators access to their data for any reason, even in situations typically exempted from customer control, such as outages or response to third-party data requests, such as those under the authority of the US Cloud Act. Customers are provided a clear reason why data is being decrypted which they can use to decide whether to permit decryption and thus allow access to their data. What this means is that there is no way for Google to decrypt customer data at rest without a customer's approval, which you can withhold for any reason. Cloud External Key Manager allows you to use encryption keys that are stored and managed outside of Google Cloud's infrastructure. And signed access approval adds a layer of extra assurance that ensures explicit customer consents for any administrative access to customer data or configurations. Let's take a closer look at how to get started. First, visit the Google Cloud Console at cloud.google.com slash console. Before you can set up an assured workloads environment, you must select an organization. Then, 
navigate to the compliance section. In the compliance section, you will have to create a new Assured Workloads folder or use an existing Assured Workloads folder within your organization's cloud hierarchy. For each existing folder, you can see its name, creation time, compliance type, data region, and labels. Click Create to create a new Assured Workloads folder. You will first need to check that you meet the prerequisites for folder creation. This means having 1. Access transparency enabled for your organization. This provides you an audit trail of support actions. 2. A parent folder registered using the provided request form. 3. A premium subscription to Assured Workloads. This is required for Assured Workloads for AU. 4. Private preview access. This is required if you want to use the AU regions and support with sovereignty controls compliance type. Next, select the geographic area in which you aim to meet data residency requirements. Assured Workloads offers control in the AU, but also the US and Canada as of today. Let's pick AU and click Next. In the AU, you're offered two options, AU regions and support, and AU regions and support with sovereignty controls. AU regions and support sets controls for data residency to AU regions and sets controls for support personnel to AU persons located in the AU. AU regions and support with sovereignty controls adds a layer of cryptographic controls over data access, activating external key manager, key access justifications, and signed access approval. Let's pick AU regions and support for now. Click Next. Specify the AU region you would like to restrict your workload to. Select AU, which provides access to multiple AU regions. Click Next. Select the parent folder you registered earlier as the place where your new folder will live. This parent folder signals to resources that a regulatory boundary is set and requires all resources in that folder to use the specific policies and controls. If you try to choose a folder that is not registered, you will get an error like this. Then give your Assured Workloads folder a name and click Next. The last step is configuring your key management project and keyring. This will create a separate key management project within your Assured Workloads folder and a keyring in which to place your keys. The keyring sets you up to utilize customer managed encryption keys or externally managed encryption keys. Additionally, if you want to keep your encryption keys outside of Google's infrastructure, you will need to configure external key management and key access justification, which you can do from the details page once you finish creating this folder. Click Next. This brings you to the review section, where you can review compliance type details, folder name and location, and supported products. Click Create to create the Assured Workloads folder. Now you will see the new Assured Workloads folder in your list. From this point forward, any folder or project created inside of this folder will inherit the guardrails you specified. Now that your folder is created, let's set up encryption keys. Click on your new Assured Workloads folder. Within the Folder Details page, you will see the encryption section, which shows you information about the separate key management project created for you. Click on the project name to open it. When entering a project inside of the Assured Workloads regulatory boundary, customers are presented with a regulatory intercept that warns them about entering sensitive data in the environment and logs their acknowledgement and access to the project. Navigate to the key management section of the console. Click on the key ring that was created for you, then click Create Key. Give your new key a name and click Create. Once your key has been created, click the Actions button on the right side and select Copy Resource Name. This will be important for later. 
Now, let's take a look at how you can create a cloud resource within your Assured Workloads folder using your new encryption key. Create a new project within the Assured Workloads folder you created earlier. Make sure to set the location appropriately. Once your project is created, select it and acknowledge the compliance agreement. Navigate to the Cloud Storage section of the console. You can now use the key you created earlier to encrypt a Cloud Storage bucket as you create it. Give your bucket a bucket name. You'll notice that the data location options are restricted to the regions within the AU. Select the default options for location, storage class, and access control. Then click Data Encryption. Select Customer Managed Encryption Key, and then enter Key Resource Name. Paste in the key resource name you copied earlier, and click Save. Click Grant to verify that the service account has permission to encrypt and decrypt with the selected key. Finally, click Create and Confirm to create your bucket. Congratulations! You have now successfully created a cloud resource that follows the AU regions and support compliance regime. Assured workloads also restrict customers to using specific products and services, blocking developers from accidentally violating requirements set by the organization administrator. So, there you have it. A walkthrough of how you can get started with Assured workloads in the European Union to easily deploy supplementary data protection measures to workloads on Google Cloud. If you want to learn more, visit cloud.google.com slash assured hyphen workloads. And stay tuned for more episodes of Assured Workloads and sovereignty updates to learn how to build cloud workloads with compliance in mind. Thanks for watching.